have so much fun drawing thumbnails. Wouldn't it be cool if someone commissioned me to draw one from them too? <laughs> Not like that's gonna happen. Huh? Hi everyone, and if you're new here, hi, I'm Ki. I'm a storyboard artist, a VTuber, and, well, I guess I can officially call myself a thumbnail artist now. So, recently, I was approached by Emmy Reach to, to draw the thumbnail for her latest video, so go check that out if you haven't yet. Since this is a pretty exciting thing for me, I thought I'd make this little video to commemorate the occasion and maybe this will answer any questions people might have. So, thinking back. The story probably starts last year when I met Emi Richu and Didus in person as they were guests at Crunchyroll's first expo here in Australia. Side note, Crunchyroll Expo Melbourne was kind of a big mess, but that's really a whole story I don't have time for. <laughs> if I remember correctly, Emi Richu and Didus were only announced as guests like three days or something like that before the con, so it was a very last minute surprise for attendees. Despite the short notice, I was able to get a ticket for their meet and greet session, which was really exciting for me. I didn't want to go to the meet and greet empty handed though, so I quickly whipped up some fan art on my way to the con. My family actually decided to road trip from Sydney to Melbourne for the con, so I actually drew this in the car on the iPad, which I would never tried before, but I think it turned out pretty nice. At the expo, I was pretty nervous waiting in line for the meet and greet. I had the prints prepared in my hands, but I still didn't know what I was going to say. When it was my turn, I'm pretty sure I just stepped up and said, Hi, nice to meet you. I just really like your work. <laughs> both Emily and Didus were really friendly though, and we were able to chat for a little while while they both signed the print that Emily drew for the fans. And we even took a photo together. When I passed them the little prints, Emily actually recognized the art because she'd seen it the night before on Twitter when I posted it, which made me really happy. <laughs> I asked them to also sign a copy for me to keep as well, and they ended up signing the space on Emily's legs. <laughs> Before time was up, I also handed them my business card, and then we said our goodbyes. It was a lovely meet and greet experience, and ended up being one of the highlights of the whole convention for me, so I also went to the Q&A panel on day 2. After the con was over, I kinda expected that now would just be the end of the interaction. We meet so many fans every day at the con and I don't consider myself particularly stand out, so to my surprise, I got a DM from Emily. She was actually trying to contact me after the event to ask about buying some of my stuff because they were too busy to see the artist Ellie during the convention, and I just kind of exploded. So yeah, <laughs> all I can say is, hey, you never know the power of a business card. Now. Hopefully, this isn't sounding too parasocial. I mean, of course, I was super surprised and excited to be chatting with Emily, but at the same time, I feel like I was generally kinda chill about the whole thing though. I'm a storyboard artist, so storytime animators on YouTube have always seemed really cool to me, and Emi Richie in particular really appealed to me because of her cute illustrations and relatable storytelling. I just really respect her, you know, as a fellow cringe person. <laughs> I'm kidding. I think independent artists are some of the hardest working people. If you're able to make that your career, I just think that's incredible. But yeah, I just wanted to add this part for context as to how I even met Emily. <laughs> anyway, fast forward. I've been making a lot of videos and streams on YouTube more recently, and part of being a YouTuber requires you to make thumbnails. As an artist, I've just ended up drawing a lot of my own thumbnails, and thankfully, it's something I actually enjoy doing. One day, I decided to post some of the thumbnails I was happy with on Twitter, and then jokingly said, Hey, if anyone wants to hire me for thumbnail art, well... <laughs> so when Emily actually responded to my tweet saying she was interested, I was kinda in shock. Emily's videos are always paired with her really pretty illustrations, so I was like, Are you sure? Honestly, I was feeling a little intimidated by the request. But she assured me that she really wanted me to draw for her, so I just want to say a big thank you to Emily for even giving me the opportunity and not backing down when I wasn't feeling confident about taking on the responsibility. Which I know sounds kind of silly and overdramatic, but it really felt like a big deal to me. A thumbnail is always the first impression someone can have of a video, so it seemed like a daunting task to draw the face of her hard work. 
Plus, she does have an audience of over 3 million people, so I didn't want to potentially confuse them. I don't know. I feel like it's a very oddest experience to doubt yourself. <laughs> but yeah, I decided to accept her request, and after learning Emily was making a video about stationery, I started off with ideas for the thumbnails. Emily decided to go with B, and then she sent me some photos of the stationery she bought to add to the artwork. With all that planning out of the way, I got to work. And ended up with this. I think it turned out really cute, and Emily also loved the end result. Turns out, Emily doesn't really enjoy making thumbnails, which I thought was surprising. <laughs> when the video was posted, I braced myself in case anyone would be confused or even disappointed by the thumbnail art, but it's been really sweet to see the many positive reactions. It was a big relief. I also have to say this notification from the Amazing, who's another storytime animator I enjoy, which was really cool. <laughs> Thank you. So yeah, thank you guys for enjoying my work, and I hope that it wasn't too big of a shock. Cause, spoilers, there's gonna be more in the future. Hi everyone, uh, I guess this is my first storytime style video. I've always been interested in trying to create a video like this, but I never really had the motivation to actually give it a go. So when this whole thumbnail commission came along from Emery Richu, I decided to challenge myself to give it a shot. So, <laughs> go easy on me if it's a little rough, but let me know in the comments if you like this or the thumbnail artwork. I'd really appreciate that. I'm not sure if this will be a regular thing, <laughs> but I hope it was enjoyable to watch. I was basically speedrunning to get this video done, so everything you see was done in like three days. <laughs> Super thanks to all my patrons for cheering me on during this time too. I love you guys. This is going to be my last video of the year since I'm taking a break till January, so I want to thank you all for supporting my art and channel this year. It's been wild to suddenly be out of work because of the animation industry being a mess this year, so I'm glad I can look back and still say I accomplished a lot of cool things despite that. It's very fulfilling to know that what I do can resonate with and make other people happy too. Please take care of yourselves while I'm gone and <laughs> don't forget me when I come back, please! I'll see you again next year. Tags, huh? <laughs> Can we find a socially appropriate way to do this? Sorry. <laughs> I plead the fifth. I'm just gonna say vanilla is boring as hell. I'm so sorry. I asked you about the infantile. <laughs>